I added the video last minute abruptly, sorry, but I want to talk about a movie that um, I want to talk a movie that really resonates with me that I watched a month ago and I this is like one month reflection on this movie. Crazy Rich Asians. Normal people watch the movie and be like, wow, it's so funny, ha ha ha, look at these rich people, they're crazy and these people, they, their families are so funny, their life is so foreign. I've been around these people in real life that care legitimately about their family name and care about the money in their family, the family business, that will willingly sacrifice their social life, their youth life for the sake of family business and family affairs and solving them. I've met these people that are very intertwined with this type of life, that have the crazy rich Asian lifestyle. I have an old video of me in a gated community in Vietnam, and this gated community, um, like the houses cost quite a lot to go into. Like it cost like five hundred grand or six hundred grand for the nicer houses, and four hundred grand for this house that I went in. Four hundred thousand pounds. Oh, that's like four hundred fifty thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars at some point. I'm pretty sure. At some point, in the economy. I've been around these people. And mind you, the average wage in Vietnam is fucking two hundred dollars a month, or two hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars a month. I think it just went up to three hundred pounds a month, or like three hundred fifty dollars a month, which is absolute fucking pennies. I've been around these crazy rich Asians. They are alike the way they are in the movie and in the book as well. I got the book um, Rich People Problem, and I think I want to read this. I'm on a page. I'm, I'm reading a self financial self book. I'm on page twenty three. I have literally barely fucking touched the book. But I'm, I'm gonna read this because it, it offers such an interesting parallel to like actual crazy rich Asians that you meet in real life. It's genuinely like they're not the same, but they are fucking similar. They get all very petty over small bullshit. Amazing. Money isn't an issue. They love showing off. They love glamorizing themselves. There's always something more to chase, and I'm horrifically jealous about it. Those type of problems are the problems I want. The, oh, we're only on Asian, uh, are we, are we only on Asian, uh, what the fuck, uh, Asian glamour, what the fuck, what magazine was it? I forgot what type of magazine, it was such bullshit. Asian Vogue, we're only on Vogue Asia, we're not on Vogue International. That type of bullshit, and they're, and they're legitimately worried and stressed about that, because they won't get enough publicity, and enough people fucking bum sucking them and being, wow, proud, inspirational for your, for your wealth and success. Fuck off, man. These people are still people at the end of the day. They're tangible. They're living. I know these people. I genuinely know them. My cousins, my uncles, my aunties, affluent people. I know them. It's quite interesting to be around these people because they're just like how the movie portrayed. I, I I watched the movie and I was like, haha, they're actually just like that. Of course, without the two hundred million dollar estate, it's usually just, just like a one two million dollar. But for a country that earns like fucking pennies, that's a, a literally multi million dollars, multi millionaire status. No, like I've been around these people, and these people are fucking crazy. <laughs> I get it, crazy. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, stop, stop, hey, come on, stop, stop. <laughs> Thank you. Refresh on the movie though, I, I, I don't want to take something off, I want to uh, put it off my other video. Refresh on the movie, I think the movie, I was so jealous at that time. I'm so ridiculously jealous because you don't have to worry about money. You genuinely don't have to worry about money. The worries are like people being racist to you and shit, which I get on a daily basis anyway, so I don't care. The worries are like family issues, family pressing matters, which I fucking have on a daily basis anyway. I, can, I believe I can solve all of them. So I've got the fucking finesse, the kung fu, the Aikido. That worrying about that shit, a lot of people like they think they seem like it's very difficult to worry about that shit. That's a lot of rich kids struggle to worry about that shit. But if I had an infinite amount of time, I believe I could solve it all. I, I, I literally believe I could solve it all. Something like that is not difficult for me. Crazy rich, I'm so jealous of the movie. I'm so jealous of everyone. They're fucking rich. I love going. I love going back to Vietnam because I have the rich life there. The rich life is complete and utter freedom. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I want to go fishing with my granddad. I can go fishing with my granddad. I can go to this shopping mall. Go to shopping mall. I can. Do, I don't. I don't go to casino. By the way, but if I want to go to casino, I've been before. 
or casino or gambling. I don't like casinos though. I don't like gambling. I don't like gambling. I don't like taking drugs. I don't like any bad habits. So that's why. So I'm just gonna name this video Crazy Rich Asians. I was like, that's why I hate Crazy Rich Asians. But I don't hate it. I think it's a great parallel to how Rich Asians operate. I don't know the song. What's it going? Fucking fire, man. Fucking fire. I actually did it both times. Hey, hey, music, man. I was gonna play it, but fuck, man. Fuck that shit. I'm saying it wrong. I'm gonna get a fucking copyright if I do this, I just realized. How long is this video, bro? It lasts. Six minutes and. I'll put it in my room, it smells nice. No, I'm not talking about the pill one. I'll put it in the plug. Instead of this, there's the leak out. Okay. Crazy changes. I was jealous of the movie. I'm quite envious of the movie. I'm quite envious of the issues. And I'm quite envious of the Torture Million Dollar Estate and the Lamborghinis and the Aston Martins and the Ferraris and the life, the extravagant lifestyle. In five years, I see myself with living in this extravagant li of, of lifestyle. And in five years, I'll be 22. I'll be incredibly young. I'll be the next probably Asian Imangaji. Everyone's going to call me Asian Imangaji. And I don't care because that lifestyle, I will sacrifice. I will gladly. Sacrifice all my university years, all my college years. I don't give a fuck. College is two years in the UK. Sacrifice. University is four years in the UK. That's six years in total. Sacrifice. Six years of time. I could get rich in six years. Start my business. People in business, it's actually easier to get a, a, a successful business going under you 10, 10 grand or not even 10 grand, just two, three, four, five grand a month. It's much easier to do that than to literally get a fucking job these days. Because if you're providing value to the market, most of the time people don't give a fuck about your credentials. Okay, if you're a verified seller, people might care a little bit. 10% of people might care. 90% of people are like, okay, you got what I want? Okay, I'll pay money. Give me, give me the favorite product. Most people don't give a fuck. In 10, 5 years, only 10 years. 10 years, I'll definitely be there. In 5 years, I'll be well on my fucking way. I'll be making at least 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month. Living a lifestyle many would probably would dream of. Dream of. <laughs> it's fucking it's piss taking. I deserve that life, man. I deserve to be wealthy. Fuck's wrong with me. Fuck's wrong with this shit. I don't care anyone that tells me to tell me otherwise. I'll be stubborn with my own beliefs. People tell me you're not gonna get taller. I got taller. People tell me I wouldn't grow within this year. I grew like fucking three centimeters. Three centimeters, three centimeters, okay, guys? I don't, I don't listen to anyone with this shit in this whole man. I fucking hate all this shit. I have to leave the house now. I'm gonna, I might record another video. I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm, in, the, I'm in the flow for this. No, I need to meditate for 10 minutes. I want that life so bad and I know law of attraction is motivational and it's somewhat real law of attraction <sighs> fuck man can you guys next video bye 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 Siri remember doing the hard work is easy for me <laughs> no that slipped off pretty well off the tongue that time can you guys next video doing the hard work is easy